We've all heard the saying, the camera is the new gun. But how many of us are still walking around without one? In this video, I'll give an overview of half a dozen different cameras so you can make a better informed decision on what model is right for you. The cameras include the Berry Can Key Camera, Cobra Digital Pin Cam, Flip's latest camera, the Slide, the Venom Snake Eye Micro Sports Cam, the Mini 300 Spy Glasses, and a point and click Olympus camera. At $35, the Mini 300 Spy Glasses are a low cost entry option to get in your own video camera. It's a bit of a novel design. The camera's in the frame itself. The power button and record button are on the left side. To take a picture, press the photo button once. To take video, hold it down until the button's flashing. Records an AVI at 30 frames per second. The video is 720 by 480. Pictures are 1280 by 1024. It has a lithium battery, an hour plus record time, and two hours of standby time. To export footage, remove the micro SD card or plug in with a USB. Admittedly, they're a little bit bulky on the sides. They have, I guess, this equipment in there, but the tech stuff, micro SD card buttons and whatnot, but maybe it fits a little better on your head, or uh, maybe wear a hoodie to make the uh, profile a little bit more discreet. Another option may be just to fold these up, clip them here, and just walk around because they're going to be a little less conspicuous just hanging from your shirt. You could have it recording and just rotate the video 90 degrees uh, once you get home and export it. Plus it keeps your hands free so you, you, you can hand out literature with a hand or you could you know, do whatever. But carry your, carry your gear, protect yourself. For those of you who like this concept but want something a little bit more discreet, check out zionize.com which is offering Ray-Ban type shades for $150 that can be linked to your smartphone via Bluetooth and then streamed live to the internet via a free application. At $50, the Cobra Digital Spy Pin is another option. It's pretty inconspicuous. It looks like a pin, but a little bit more bulky, and the pin itself writes, so it is functional. It has a lithium-ion battery, is USB ready, can take videos and pictures, and has a 4 gig internal memory. To switch between video and picture mode, you must unscrew the pin and slide a button to V for video or P for picture. On the negatives, if you typically don't wear a shirt without pockets, this may not be the best option for you since getting the proper direction using this camera is a bit awkward. Though not a video camera, at $60 the digital video voice tracer may be another option worth considering. It only does one function, capture audio, and it does it really well. It has a lithium ion battery, is easy to navigate, has tons of storage, and it's USB ready to export content. I really like this. It's light. Uh, it doesn't take up any space in your pocket if you put it on a lanyard like this. It's well positioned, so if you're engaging in a conversation, uh, you get some good audio right there. Uh, when you're not using it, you know, you can just tuck it away. Another option that may be feasible is to pick up a point-and-click digital camera. This model, an Olympus VG120, takes 14 megapixel pictures, has a 5 times optical zoom, and an LCD screen. Overall, it's solid for taking still pictures, and it's good for video, so it may be a good option. It has a slim profile as well, so it doesn't take up much space in your pocket or purse. Okay, so right now I'm about uh, 10 feet away from all the devices they should be recording. Just want to get another angle. A spy camera may be a good option as well if you're looking for something discreet. This model, a Venom Snake Eye Micro Sports Cam, costs about $85. It records an AVI at 25 frames per second at 640 by 480 resolution. It has a lithium ion battery that has a rechargeable 2 hour runtime. One of the options I like about this model is its voice activated functionality. If turned on, the device will start recording once the decibel level goes over 65. It also comes with tons of mounts and you can export content via the micro SD card or USB. Overall I love this compact size and it has an alloy construction which makes it more stout than some of its competitors that are made out of plastic. This uh, Viper Spy Cam again has a lot of options on how you can wear it. Uh, one of my preferred ways is just with this clip. 
just goes in nice and easy and then you could uh, stick it anywhere I might might stick it on my uh, collar there walk around it's light you hardly know it's there if you have a backpack a lot of them have straps you can stick it on your backpack strap many folks are familiar with the flip cameras simple easy to use you can edit with the software that comes with it it exports via a USB uh, plug that comes out the top of the camera. Many thanks go out to our friend Kurt from Detroit, Michigan area who donated two of these cameras to myself in a demo for our use with CopLock. This particular model is the Flip Slide HD, which is the latest and last model offered from Flip. Word on the street is they're going to stop making cameras. This particular model is very easy to use. There's a power button on the side, the controls are built into the display, record button in the middle, zoom, it's pretty simple. The negatives of this camera are that the zoom itself aren't, isn't that powerful. Also, because the controls are built into the screen, you can't use gloves while navigating. Overall, this may be the best option if you're just looking for an all-purpose camera for under $100. If you pick this up, I'd strongly encourage you to drop another $20 to get a little Gorilla tripod, which will help make your shoots a lot easier. This is the audio from the flip camera. I'm talking to the flip camera right now, looking directly at it, so a couple feet away. Again, outside, there's a slight breeze. The, the Berry Can Key Camera, which costs about $100, looks like a regular key fob, but it takes pictures and video. Pictures with a resolution of 2560 by 1920 and video in MPEG form at 720 by 480 at 29 frames per second. The battery lasts 90 minutes. If you're interested in getting the Berry Cam, you can also get a package option from Barry Cooper, which includes his personal analysis for a year and different warranties on the product itself. While I respect Barry Cooper's work and his advocacy of standing for your rights, unfortunately I can't give a glowing endorsement for the camera that bears his name. Initially, Dan and I were sent two Barry cams, one of which we returned immediately because of mechanical malfunction. The little button that extends the key wasn't working. And unfortunately, neither the replacement camera or the camera Damo had ever worked for us. Hopefully, you can now make a more informed decision about what camera is right for you. How discreet does it need to be? What sort of functionality do you need? And what's your price point? Those are all factors to consider when weighing what camera is right for you.